Can we just as a community pat ourselves on the back? Because this is a group effort. Oh hey, welcome to another episode of The Dumbest Thing I've Ever Done. I'm Nicole Foti, you're watching Soundly Awake. If this is your first time here, thanks for coming. And if you've been here, thanks for coming back. Getting ready. <laughs> I recorded a whole video before this. For Patreon only, if you want to join my Patreon, patreon.com slash soundlyawake. I'm just rambling about where my brain's at today, because, because of why reasons. Let's dive right into it. When I was four years old, I guess I thought I had to touch things to ask what they were, because I touched a pot of boiling hot grits to ask if they were grits and burned my index finger pretty badly. I didn't eat grits again for years, and apparently I didn't learn my lesson with hot things, because when I was nine, I took a stick from the backyard and stuck the end into our fire pit to light it on fire. When the flame eventually went out, I blew on it to see if it would light again and a spark flew up and burned my eyelid. We got so many stories about fire, y'all. I'm just, we, we gotta do better. We gotta do well. I put on an oven mitt to put things into the oven. Like it's not even hot yet, but I just do it. I just know how clumsy and idiotic I am. So I gotta make the proper precautions. Make or take. Gotta also take English lessons. Ooh, I have a poop story. We got, see, poop on deck, poop deck. When I was a kid, I used to hold it up a lot. I was nine when I took my first trip to the US and it was a three week long trip. I pooped a grand total of three times while I was there. The last time was so bad, I literally half shit my pants. Listen, I know some people got poop anxiety when they're traveling. I get that. And th this is, this, these are the repercussions. <laughs> three poop cushions. Oh, stop me. How does this only have 4K views? What in the actual, f you know, I don't <laughs> have control over this. I, I just try to make the best video I can make. And then I just throw it out into universe and hope that the universe distributes it evenly across the world population so that that number goes up. That's all I can do. You know, if anyone has a solution, let me know. I'm so red here. I, I'm like, I'm breaking out. I'm, ooh, stop it. Focus, focus. I'm the one who took a dumb shortcut to work. We love updates. Sorry for the lack of details. I was probably drugged up after surgery. Didn't realize it was for a video, basically. <laughs> here's, here's the thing. Let it be known that if you tell a story in which you were dumb on an episode of The Dumbest Thing I've Ever Done, it probably will be read aloud in a video. Just saying. Just saying. Basically, I quit my job of three years for a new one. Two weeks into the new job, I was dumb and walked down this like sloped patch of grass to cut through the parking lot and it was out of pure laziness. Someone's calling me, don't do that. There was a safe sidewalk I could have used. It would have taken longer, but I was literally early for work. <laughs> anyway, I didn't take into account that it had rained. Oh no, so the grass was muddy and I just took one step and slid all the way down. I landed with all my weight crashing down onto one leg broke two bones, had surgery, ended up with a leg full of metal and no job. Make good choices, kids. See, and here's where the learning comes in. We stan an educational YouTube channel. Welcome. I was a tiny child at the beach, found a cool looking shell with a squishy thing in it. Started trying to rip it out of the shell, failed, kept trying with my teeth, asked my mother for help. She told me it was a snail. Ma'am, miss, ma'am. We, we don't have to be evicting snails. There's no reason, you know, I'm sure they were paying their dues. There's no reason to forcibly remove a snail from its proper abode. None. Let's just take a moment of silence for the snail. Back in my high school days, I'm 31, I used to steal Chick-fil-A sandwiches from this cafeteria lunch line. First of all, your cafeteria lunch line had Chick-fil-A sandwiches? We had a McDonald's across the street from our high school and we weren't even allowed to leave for lunch to get it. 
this is a bless. you were blessed. It was easy because there was a vinyl slash glass wall between the lunch booths and the cafeteria line. So I would grab a sandwich, drop it in packaging on the floor and kick it under the wall. It would then slide directly under the booth table. Free $5 sandwiches for me and my friends. I'm screaming. I, you know what? I have nothing to say. Um, I have nothing to say. Why is Chick-fil-A so good and so evil at the same time? Hmm. Hmm. Jeremy Shawshank Redemption this Inside. When I was in my teens, I wanted to take out my contact lenses, but I couldn't get one of them out. After roughly 15 minutes of pulling on my eye and not being able to see my contact lens, it dawned on me that it wasn't in my eye. <laughs> okay, this has happened to me <laughs> several times, and it is the most unnerving feeling. I'm literally cringing thinking about it right now. <laughs> knowing that you were literally just clawing at your eyeball for who knows how many minutes. Finger to cornea, finger to iris, finger to all the parts of the eye. Okay, not the retina, but just saying, no barrier, no. I feel that, we're allowing ourselves to feel that and release it. Ken's calling me. Hello? To hope? Roberto said, same thing happened to me. My cornea wasn't thrilled. See, that's what I'm saying. I, this is, I know anyone who has ever worn contacts. We feel each other. We're here. <laughs> we got another VCR feeder. We got another VCR feeder in the house. Tasha said, as a kid, I fed the VCR too with bread. And then I was sad because I couldn't watch my Sailor Moon video anymore. I think I said this in that episode too. This is uh, from episode four of the dumbest thing I've ever done. Leah said, this is me, except I used to stuff my plastic bracelets in there. Tasha said, my mom said, I thought the VCR was hungry. This, I feel like this is so many people's experiences as well. We just have never talked about it. This is like a group therapy session. Shannon, the audio tinker said, thanks for sharing my dumbness. This series can just continue forever. I, you know what? I hope it does as well. Please share this series with your friends. Uh, this is a genuine ask. Like if you think your friends will enjoy this series, let them know. There's a helicopter, we're just gonna deal with it. So weird you said about riding bikes with eyes closed because I was thinking about commenting exactly that yesterday. When I was about 10, my cool uncle came to my house, which he rarely did, and so to impress him, I said, look what I can do. Closed my eyes, took my hands off, look what I can do, crash spectacularly and fall off within about a half a second. It's, this is, this episode is definitely the relatablest episode yet, I feel, because every single one, banging them out. I'm like, yep, did that. Yep, that was me. Yep, felt that moment. The summer I turned 18, I went with a student group to Europe for a few weeks. We were in Paris toward the end of the tour in a small hotel, and I was sharing a room with one of the other students. At one point, I locked myself out of the room, and instead of going to the front desk to get another key, I had the bright idea of going out the window across a bit of the roof over the lobby to get to my room. Little did I know, the roof was not as solid as I thought it was, and from below, it sounded as though the roof were about to cave in. Someone ran up to told, oh my god, someone ran up and told me to get back in the window. I came out of before I fell through the ceiling that was 45 years ago and one of the teachers who went with us has never let me forget it. I am literally grasping at my throat. Wouldn't want it to be me. I would not want that to be me. And I'm glad that you escaped it. Still counts as a dumb thing you did even though you didn't break a bone or hurt yourself because you could have. Oh hey, when I was 13, I taught myself to ride a bike without using my hands. I thought I was cool shit until a car backed out of the driveway in front of me. I had no way to steer out of the way, hit the car, sailed over the trunk of the car and landed on my arm. Dislocated shoulder, broken wrist and thumb and had to tell that story to the ER over and over again for six hours. We're all out here helping each other. I hope that there's someone out there who watched this episode 
right before they were about to leave to go bike riding with no hands. And maybe now they'll think twice about it. Out here learning, teaching, saving lives in 2019. When I was six, I was at a closed door with my grandma and I decided it'd be fun to walk around with my eyes closed trying to find her on the other side of the store. I found her, hugged her, and with my eyes still closed, yelled, Nana, I found you. And when I opened my eyes, it was a random pregnant lady. <laughs> she was just as shocked as I was and TBH, I have never forgiven myself. No one, no one needs to be sorry in this situation. I... I'm grateful. I'm grateful um, that you did it, and I'm grateful that you shared it with us here today. <laughs> I think that's all we have time for today. I can't tell, honestly, because I've been recording for 30 minutes, and my brain is so frazzled that I just, like, I don't know where I'm at, how much we got done, how many stories we even shared today, no idea, none. I gotta go pack, yes, I leave for the airport in hours and I have not packed a thing. Gotta get warden stuff, oh, I forgot, did I even tell you I'm going somewhere? I'm, when you're watching this video, I'm in Maryland, so that's all, or actually I might be in Virginia. I'm on the East Coast, either way. If you have any stories you'd like to share, please leave it in the comments. Please take a second to subscribe if you wanna and click the bell if you wanna, because apparently that's how it lets you know that I uploaded a video. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and wherever else, mostly at Soundly Awake. You can click one of the videos that you see on the screen and watch some more if you want, or take a nap or have a snack. I don't know what you gotta do. Homework? Pieces!